Okay, what we see here is a recording setup with a new Tube Master Deluxe 20. So we have connected the, in the new Redbox AE direct out through this Apogee interface and go into computer and what you hear, the signal is coming directly out of the mixing disk. So we have a very simple setup. We have a drum loop and just press record and then see what happens. Okay, that's it. So let's listen. Okay, so this was the red box straight into the computer and you see it can't get any easier to record. But we have added one feature to the red box that uh, some engineers asked for. So for example, if you want to use internal plugins, at the moment, it's not possible to use that with tube amps because you already need a microphone, need a cabinet, so it makes no sense to use cabinet emulations. So what we did, we have the option, you see it here on the red box, to switch the emulation off, and then you get the pure power amp signal into the computer. Let's do that on the amp here. Okay, so let's do another recording. Switch this off, switch this on. And now, if you check the sound, would you play something? Oh. Yeah. So I have the space designer here. The space designer comes with logic. It's a, a standard plugin, it comes with some cabinets. And when I switch this off, then we hear the pure power amp signal, but attention, this will sound strange. Again. So that's, that's a bit strange, sounds distorted. And now I can switch on the emulation. So now, the Tube Master Deluxe 20 delivers the pure signal in the computer, and we use the cabinet emulation here. Let's do a little recording. Okay, thank you. And the great thing now is, because the software records the pure signal, we can even change the cabinet of an already recorded track. I will do that now. So, now let's compare it to the original, original red box. Now you can compare the red box to software emulation. And honestly, I think it sounds better, right? Thanks for listening, and go to Zona 1 in Paris and ask for Tube Master Deluxe.